save her. My daughter. How's it going guys? Lucian Sword here playing some more Breath of the Wild for you guys today as always. What a beautiful sight this is. This is basically right where we left off in the last episode. I want to uh, continue questing in Rito Village a little bit. But before we do go back, um, let's go ahead and fight this Walker Guardian. And it looks like it is a real Guardian. You can tell because when you pull out Stasis it actually can be Stasis. Oh my gosh, I did not mean to jump off there. So, um, before we fight the Guardian, also let's try summoning Rivali's Amiibo. And see if we get the Rivali uh, helmet. This is the second try. Let's see if we get it this time. He usually dropped some arrows. Or he did last time. Alright, five arrows. Did we get it? Ugh, another stupid falcon bow. That is not what I want. Get this garbage out of my sight. Alright, I think we're good to fight the uh, guardian. Put your snowshoes on, Cookie. We're going into battle. Arctic Fox, some ice keys, some big ol' Moose? Oh, come on, big boy. I know you're awake. Wake up, big boy. <laughs> You've been frozen a long time. I think you should wake up now. I think ancient weapons, like what I'm using right here, do something like 30% more damage to guardians. Oh, now you're not so much of a walker now, are you? Of course, my Master Sword would also work fine, but... But, you know, I like to kill Guardians with the ancient technology weapons, I think. It's just... Ooh. Wolf Link was getting into some trouble over there. I had to help him out. Oh, speaking of uh, killing lizard boys. So, I saw a video this morning that actually explains how the leveling up in this game works. Sure, there's no leveling up that you can actually see. But there is a level up system that makes the enemies get harder and harder. And basically the more enemies you kill, the, the like there's a certain threshold where the enemies will level up. They go from like a red to a blue, from a blue to a black, black to a white, white to a silver, or whatever. That might not be the right order, but you get what I'm saying. And when you kill something very strong, like a Lionel, a Hinox, a Divine Beast boss, you get a ton of XP, so that levels up a lot of the enemies. So it makes sense when I took out Divine Beast Vomido, or, or rather Windblight Wind Ganon. That's why we're seeing so many Silver Boys now around this area. Um, let's head back to uh, Rito Village really quick. There's a quest that I want to do that I know we haven't done yet. And then after that, I think we'll pretty much be done with Rito Village for the most part. And then uh, we'll probably start heading south to the desert area. We haven't, we've been to the desert. We gained access to the Gerudo uh, village or city or town or whatever it is. But we haven't really done any of the quests in Gerudo town either. All right. So the place I want to go to is somewhere. I can't, I don't see it yet. Ooh, actually, let's go in there. Look at all the glowy stones over there. Oh, yeah, there it is. So the, right above where Link is, that's where I want to go. Uh, all those stones. There's some kind of quest over there. 
Man, I love having a lot of stamina. Boulder Breaker. Oh look, another another little apple shrine, man. These these guys love apples. Oh come on. Don't bounce this time. Just stay right in the bowl. There we go. Got a Korok seed. Oh, I love that five leaf, five five point five star leaf map. Whatever that is, five pointed star. Five pointed star leaf. Did I just call it a map? Got a lot of luminous stones, man. I got 38. It's quite a bit of money. Uh, actually, I will take those apples. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so let's climb back out of here and take a look at where we are. So I need to go down there. Let's hit these luminous stones up along the way. Might as well. It's free money. Daruk's protection is now ready to roll. Thank you, Daruk. Oh yes, that's the flight range over there. I really do like this area. Even though it's snow and cold and you gotta wear the cold armor, it's still pretty awesome. It reminds me of uh, uh, Northrend in uh, World of Warcraft. It's specifically one of the zones. I don't remember what it's called though. Chill shroom. I really need electric key swing. I need the electric key swing to level up one of my armors. Speaking of leveling up armor, I also need to do that. Maybe we'll do it. Was that a truffle? Ooh, a big hearty truffle. Let's go. I need to do a cooking with Lucian pretty soon too. All right. So, oh, there's another Korok thing right over there. We just gotta find the uh, the single stone. Which I'm assuming is up top. Let's look up here really quick. We're getting, uh, we're getting quite a few Koroks in the bank. The only thing that stinks is like when you get all these upgrades, it actually takes like 20 Koroks just to get another upgrade. All right, we made it to Warbler's Nest. It seemed like there was a, uh, a rock missing right here. We just, I don't know where it is. Oh, here it is. All right, we found it. Bring this bad boy. No. Oh, let's bring this over here. Get another Korok. I mean, I don't really feel like I'm constricted with how many weapons. Why did you turn around? With how many weapon slots or bow slots I already have. Or shields, for that matter. Like, I already feel pretty, pretty good on all that. Let's see. You know... You can get five more weapon slots, which is pretty insane. Uh, I could go for more bows and shields, but like I said, like I hardly ever break a bow or shield, and when I do, I got so many replacements already. All right, so this is clearly for a shrine. Let's talk to Keel. Grr, my sisters are dumb dummies. They promised we'd rehearse together, but no one showed up. We have to perform our song for Elder at Warbler's Nest. We're going to be laughed off the stage. Hey you, you look like I could use you. That is to say, you look like a nice guy who likes to help people in need. Can you go tell my sisters in Rito Village to stop ditching rehearsal? They won't listen to me, but they might listen to a scary looking Hylian like you. Do I really look scary to you? Alright, I need to go to the kitchen. And back to Rito Village, okay. So we gotta get her sisters to come to the re to this place, Warbler's Rest or Warbler's Nest, whatever that was called. Oh, that's such delicious coffee. It's uh, it's that same thing I was drinking yesterday. It's the iced coffee, light mocha. It comes like pre-made, but I pour it over ice. It's super, super creamy and delicious. 
Alright, so let's actually track this quest. So we can uh, see where we need to talk to. Oh! After we do this quest, I, I want to go back to uh, Goron City to sell some more gems. Dang it, she's up there. I dropped down too far. <laughs> oh wait, here's one. Got some goat butter? Rehearsal? Oh yeah, I forgot. If I give you this goat butter, will you make some salmon meunier for Genli? She should be in the kitchen? Yes. She gave me the goat butter, okay. I gotta find the other kids. Alright, here's the other one. Hurry, hurry, I need salmon mjolnir. I don't know how to say that. In my belly. I know Kyo wants to practice singing with her, but I just can't. Not till I get my salmon mjolnir. My sister's already left to get the ingredients. I told them I wouldn't sing. Okay. I thought they were just going to the Slippery Falcon. So, what do I need? I need the salmon, goat butter, and something else, probably. I know one of the kids is, like, singing up on the rock. Remember when I found that one? I did a uh, Revali scale and I found it. Let's look for that kid. I know there's one of them up here. Let's just climb up. Actually, let's just... Let's just... Revali! Let's go. There she is, there she is. She's right over here. Grab, Link, grab. Oh my gosh, you're so dumb. Up. There she is. She's practicing. I call that song Return of the Bird Wrangling Hero. First movement. <laughs> She's making a song for me. Thank you for listening. What? Singing rehearsal of Warbler's Nest? I didn't forget. It's just that Jenly really wants the salmon Monera, as so my sisters I've been looking for ingredients. The Tabitha wheat. Okay. So I need the salmon, the wheat, the goat butter. Now I just need the salmon, which I think I can find somewhere. I think there's like a pond. Yes, down there. Pretty sure this is where I'll find the other kid. No? Dang, I thought for sure it'd be in here. I love the stables music so much. Uh, I guess it's not here? I hear a bird singing, but I think it's little birds. Oh, come on. Alright, I guessed wrong on that. I think I already have all the ingredients I need to make the salmon, so... Let's just go back to the, uh, the girl in the, in the kitchen and... Oh, there she is. She was in the pond. All right. Hey, I'm fishing for hardy salmon. Rehearsal? Oh, I totally forgot. I was too focused on catching these fish. All right, so I got the salmon. I got every ingredient now from the kids. I should be able to make this no problem. We got to go back up. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. Epic view. Epic lag. <laughs> oh, man. Please, Nintendo, give us a Switch Pro. Wait, how many, uh... Okay, I only have one Spirit Orb, so I can't do anything there. 
Alright, where is that? Oh, here's the other... I already talked to her. She gave me the goat butter. Gotta go up a little bit higher. A little bit more. Okay, here she is. Alright, I have everything you need. You want me to make it? Okay, um, so it's... It's hearty salmon. Goat butter. Tabitha wheat. Right? There you go. Could it be? Could it be? You're gonna let me have some, right? Yes, just take it. Yay! Munch, 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 munch. I'm stuffed. I'm too nervous to sing in front of other people. I have serious stage fright, but maybe practicing with my sisters will help me feel more comfortable. Whoa! And she teleported. Go check her sisters. They're back at Warbler's Nest. Perfect. Now all we gotta do is watch them sing. Oh wait, there's still one right there. She must not be uh, one of the ones singing, huh? Unless she is. What if she is? I gotta talk to her. I don't want to go all the way back. Oh, I found the big tree. She was the one that sent me on the lone tree quest. What? You you met the white birdie? Well... A shrine? The snow birdie wasn't actually a bird? So the white bird was actually Hebrew Mountain? Oh, Grandpa, you always were such something. I missed that word. <laughs> All right, where's Warbler's Nest? I think it's this way. Ah, oh, yeah, there it is. Oh, another quest. Keel, where are you? I can't find Keel. Oh, she's at Warbler's Nest. I can already tell you I've been there. She is there. Like, I can just tell you for a fact. Oh, yeah, I found her. She really had me worried. Thank you for letting me know. Oh, okay. Yep. So it was literally a quest to go start a quest. They just really wanted you to go to Warbler's Nest. Whee! She's probably like, dang, Hylians are crazy. <laughs> All right, we do have to do something with these stones. I remember that much. Four, five, three, one, two. Four, five, three, one, two. I think that's the order. It's a song passed down in the Rito village that was once sung at Warbler's Nest in ancient times. If you didn't know, Warbler's Nest is a big stone platform with pillars. The lyrics don't make a lot of sense, but there's one line in particular that always catches my ear. When wind convinces the rocks to sing, open the monk's door, we'll swing. I almost forgot, I got you a little something. A Korok leaf. Yes, um, about that. Uh, I'm just gonna set this down right here. All right, give me the Korok leaf. So, four, five, three, one, two. I think. All right. Four. Five. Three. One. 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 Two. Did I get it? Oh! First try, baby. Let's go. Actually, it took like three or four tries on that one rock, but we're not going to talk about that. 
So, the question is, is it going to be a blessing or an actual shrine? Wow. Hey, look, guys. <laughs> They're so cute. Huh? Was that weird looking house always there? No, that's the shrine thing that the elder was talking about. So cool. Who knew Warbler's Nest was keeping a secret like that? Let's tell mom. Yeah, let's. They are so cute. Please do not, like, die flying back to Rito Village. See you later. I'm gonna see them fly away. Last one to mom is an unhatched egg. <laughs> Ready, set, go! Oh my gosh. Oh my. <laughs> that is the cutest thing. Oh man. Uh, let's just hold on. Ah, do I want to hold on to the leaf? I don't want this sword to despawn. I know I might need the leaf in this shrine, but this is a really good sword. I'm just gonna risk it. If I need the leaf in the shrine, we'll find out soon enough. The Vulota Shrine. I always like to look at the shrine with the uh, orange thing activated. It just looks so cool to me. Alright, let's go. I wonder what this shrine will be. Please don't be a blessing. Please don't be a blessing. I know it was a lot of work kind of just to get to this shrine, but I want a puzzle. Something fun. Ooh, it, it, it's not a blessing. The winding route. All right. Something different. Oh, wow. That's a long, long ladder. Oh, my goodness. I'm looking down in case there's secrets like... Okay. Always check around for secrets. Okay. Ho! Oh. Ho! I did not anticipate falling into lava. Well then. Um. Wow. Well, I didn't want a blessing, and I definitely got that. Alright. So, this is awesome. I want to find the chests as well. I feel like there could be a chest like behind these towers or something. Oh, never mind. Chest right here. Please, not a weapon. Oh, it's the key to get out of here. Alright, cool. up here. Ah. Hope! Oh! Okay. Oh my gosh. Look away, children. Look away. I, uh, I would have been fine, but the air pushed me faster than I thought and made it hard to get the chest. I can almost just jump to that, eh? Yep. Alright. Not a weapon. Ooh! Okay, actually, I will take that weapon. It's actually really good. I want to get one rid of one of these two-handed weapons, though. I don't need so many. Ah, they're all so good. I know this has an insane amount of damage. Ah, uh, I really do love the Guardian Spear++, but 
It's literally, uh... I'm just gonna drop it and take the Flame Blade. Because Flame Blade one-handed is literally one of the best weapons other than, like, the one-handed, uh, Frost Blade. I probably could have dropped the uh, Sea Breeze Boomerang instead, but that's that's like a legendary artifact, you know? That's the Wind Waker Boomerang. I'm not going to drop that. Alright, let's go. Speaking of uh, legendary artifacts, now that we got this shrine, let's head back to Goron City, sell gems, and uh, use some amiibos. Because there's still a lot of uh, exclusive items that I can get from Amiibos. Alright, that shrine was was fun. I'm happy it wasn't a blessing. Even a little shrine like that, it wasn't too difficult. But, you know, I did I did fall in the lava a couple times. So. That was our 70th shrine. Only, uh, what, 50 more? We're over halfway by quite a bit. Alright, awesome, we did it. I think that was the last uh, shrine quest out of Rito Village, so there probably is more shrines like around. Um, there definitely is one here. Uh, we 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 do need to do that at some point. See, I still have hardly even explored this area. But for now, let's head back to Goron City really quick. I want to sell these gems and get rich. And let's put on our armor before we burn up. Let's do this. I like this look a lot when I'm in Goron City. And uh, actually, while we're here, let's just summon some amiibos. Oh, that fish got hit straight by the chest. Royal Halberd, I'm just going to leave, leave that. I don't really want it. Don't want him messing around with us. Give me something good. Ice arrow times five. Okay, okay. I'm not going to use all my amiibos because I just have so many. But I want to use a, a, a few of them at least every every episode. That way we're always, always having a chance. Oh, Ro Royal Shield 55. Gosh, I have the hiccups right now. They just came out of nowhere. If you hear me making weird sounds, that's why. I will take this shield. That's a really good shield. Oh my gosh. Durability plus as well. Give me Sheik's Mask. This is a Sheik Amiibo. We can get Sheik's Mask. Come on. Ah, that's a good weapon, but not good enough. not getting any good any good stuff by good stuff I mean the ex exclusive oh we got the trousers of twilight let's go excuse my hiccups so I think that was the whole set yep I got the whole set of twilight want to see it there you go you don't look too happy, but that is a uh, Twilight Princess Link for you guys. Awesome. Very, very cool. Alright, I guess we can leave it like that. Uh, let's do Zelda. And uh, I still need to sell some gems. Oh! The Twilight Bow! I was hoping to get this. A bow used by the princess who fought the beasts of Twilight alongside the hero. It's said to contain the spirit of light's power. It fires arrows straight and true as if beams of light. The awesome thing about this bow, guys, is it does not use arrows. It literally shoots light. Um, let's draw... The one I'm using, I guess. I've been wanting to try this one out. I've never had this bow before. Oh, oh my gosh, guys. Look at this. It literally fires light arrows. What? 
It looks insane. Oh my gosh. Look at that. This is literally our best bow now. It only does 30 dam damage, but it shoots perfectly straight too, practically. Alright, um... Alright, I just like the cape. Let's find the Gerudo lady and sell some gems before we end the episode. Alright, where's she at? Where is she? Normally she's just walking around here. I love the songs here. Where does she go? She's not in the inn, is she? There she is. Savak. Savota. Oh, Savak. She's buying rubies. Yes. Sell. What? I don't have enough. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. I got 13 diamonds, 36 sapphires. You don't want any of those? Come on, lady. Well, let's sell some of our other stuff. Hey. Hey, Tanko. How's it going? Let's sell. Um, let's sell. I guess Amber's, cause apparently, apparently she don't buy them. Let's just sell like fifty of them. <laughs> and uh, same with the opals. I don't think she buys those either. Let's just sell forty of them. And uh, the Luminous Stones. She doesn't buy these either, so let's just sell like 15 of these. <laughs> We're pretty good on money. Um, my, I could sell monster parts as well, but I don't really need to. I'm going to save those for upgrades. In fact, speaking of oh. upgrades, I really do want to do some upgrades. Um, if I can. I don't know if I can. That's the thing. Let me see. Where's the great fairy fountains? I marked them. I think I think this is one. Let's go to the great fairy fountain real quick and see if I can up upgrade this stuff. And if I can't, it is what it is. But I, I feel like because we're taking on divine beasts and we're leveling up the enemies and whatnot, like I mentioned in the beginning of the episode, we should probably be upgrading our armor as well. We're, we're getting better weapons, but we're not getting better armor. We need to upgrade the armor ourselves. And this fairy is the level 3 uh, fairy, so we should be able to hopefully upgrade a little bit. Okay, guess, guess I'm not doing a bomb blast. Not that I really need to, but... Get some more luminous stones back. I actually do need fairies. Are there fairies over here? Let me put on my sneak set. I guess I, guess I already am sneaking. This is level 3 sneak. No fairies at this one. I gotta go back to Kakariko Village because I'm running low on fairies. I know it. Grab all the mighty thistles, I guess. Don't really need them, but whatever. Uh, oh, great fairy! I come to offer you some items in return for upgrades. Alright, let's see what we can do. We could upgrade the desert bow. Oh, yes. Oh, I still need electric case wing. Are you ki kidding me? I guess I could upgrade that. It literally costs just ancient screws and ancient springs, but... Oh my gosh. 
All right, let's upgrade the uh, the ancient set. I guess let's do the legs. I need ten ancient gears. We need to go kill more guardians. Let's upgrade this to level three. Our soldier set is all level three. That's pretty crazy. Skip that, skip that, skip that. <laughs> I don't think I want to upgrade anything else, guys. Like, I just... I just don't know, man. I guess the desert bow set. Since we're going to be going to the Ger Gerudo area and things are going to be upgraded... Things are going to be harder there now because... We've already done two Divine Beast bosses and a bunch of Lionels and stuff. Let's see if I can get the whole Desert Bow set to level two. That might give me a set bonus. Mm -hmm. uh. It's funny how you need like the opposite stuff to upgrade the armor. Like this is an armor for desert, but I need ice key swings and uh. ice chew jelly and stuff. All right, so we can get this set to level two uh. at least. Mm. That'll help a little bit. And then uh, that's probably all I'm gonna do, do for upgrades today, excuse me guys. Let's see if I can, let's see if it gives us that bonus. Hopefully it does. Like move, move faster in the desert would be awesome. Let's see. And, oh, oh shock damage resist. Okay, well it does have a set bonus at least. Cool. So now we have a set bonus on our, uh, Gerudo clothes. How, how many uh, fairies do I actually have? Oh, I have three. I thought I used them. Weird. All right. Well, that's gonna be it for this episode, then, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let's let's just take a minute to appreciate this bow for a second. Just look at that bow. Oh my goodness, it is so beautiful. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed. Please drop a like. If you did, be sure to subscribe for more Brahala content. Er, <laughs> for more Breath of the Wild content, sorry. I'm, I'm too used to saying that. And as always, guys, this is Lucian Sword. Take it easy.